I cannot wait to get your take. Ooh. What is going on with Antonio Brown? Right now, I think it's time for him to give it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I love AB, but um, right now, everything is looking real selfish, real, real me, me. And you're, uh, what, what uh, Coach Tom used to say, you're throwing rocks at a tank right now. Hmm. At the end of the day, if the NFL, Roger Goodell, decides that a sock fine is $100,000, yep. that's what it goes to. That's the collective bargaining agreement right. that they sign. He has the power to change anything that he wants to at that point in time. You go back to when they started changing the rules for helmet to helmet. The first fine was 15000 right? Right. All of a sudden, it was seventy five for me, 50 for another guy, because we, not us, the Steelers voted no, gave him that power in the collective bargaining agreement right. to be able to do whatever it is that he wants By to do. By the way, you're the only team that voted no. You'd that. be surprised. Some teams said they didn't even vote. Really? Ooh. Yeah. But that's something else. Okay. <laughs> uh, so right now, I think he needs to sit back and and really think about what he's doing. You're you're hurting the team about something the NFL is doing. Mm -hmm. That would be like when I was getting fined, I would say, you know what, I'm not coming to practice. I'm not doing any of this because the NFL is fining me. I'm not going to hurt my teams and teammates, the guys that are there for me. You know, and he just like you said, he just got a huge contract. Right. Right now is the time to go out there and shine. You have nothing to worry about. You got guaranteed money. If you were to get hurt or anything else, You're all straight. your money is still coming. Yep. And that's when you go out there and ball. So right now, I, I believe it's time to to give it up and mm. and just and just let it go. I is had to change fair my to helmet. Say, yeah. You everybody have changed yeah. something. Fair to say you're a close friend of his. Is that? I wouldn't say that close, but me and him, we we yeah we we talk. Uh, but he's, but he's we've talked out. a lot he, less. We've yeah. talked a lot less since he's went. You know, okay. to Oakland. All right. Um, I probably haven't, you know, had a conversation with him since then. Okay. You know, to, to be totally Look, honest. We, we've been around him some on shows, Neem a little more than you, mm -hmm. but, but I always like him when I'm around him. Big personality, yes. great smile, yes. good energy, but the actions don't match the personality that, that we feel when he's on set mm -hmm. because the actions are indefensible often. And Shannon's been very hard on him. And he, as, as a friend of his or somebody who knows him pretty well, how, how would you describe what makes him tick? What, what's he all about? Um, right now, I feel like he just, he wants to win. He wants to be, you know, he wants to Does be on he? top. Yeah. I think from him having the situation happen in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. and him getting exactly what he wanted, right now he's in a situation where he feels like he should get exactly what he wanted because someone else got a leeway of, the year with the helmet but at the end of the day what he needs to realize is all that can be changed on the drop of a hat and you're talking about a helmet man come on but here's the thing james it's not only the nfl the nfl pa this is a half and half thing they said we're going to do away with these old helmets we got 30 new models mm -hmm. that the players that you like the 1500 players that's going to go opening day rosters where there's 46 32 so you're looking at about 50 let's just say 1500 players now 1,499 said, okay, I'm good. Now, A.B. was one of the guys last year. Tom Brady said, I've been to like five Super Bowls in the last six years. I don't really like the helmet, but the NFL is focused. Aaron Rodgers, everybody says, you know what? I don't like it, but I'm going to do it. And the bigger thing is, like you said, it comes down to a safety issue. And the NFL yes. is dead set on safety. If he goes out there and something happens, he gets knocked out. He already had a concussion before. Yeah. But he goes out there, he gets knocked out, and he can't come back the same. Listen, he if I'm I'm him and you let me wear this inferior helmet that you told me was inferior, mm. but I fought you enough and you went on ahead. Well, I'm a back door and I'm suing you. Exactly. That, and that's what the NFL is not going to allow. Because once the NFL and the NFLPA agree that we're gonna move, we're gonna move away from these outdated helmets, yep. and every helmet must be certified to meet the standards. Those and are the, the standard rises as they get newer. Yes, helmets, the standard of that rises. It's not that yeah, this yeah. helmet is horrible. It won't. It just is not. It's high enough standard for what we have now. Mm. Just me. I don't think this is about a helmet. I think it's about hard knocks because episode three airs tonight at ten Eastern. And the star of the first two episodes has been one Antonio Brown, and he's continuing the spotlight on him by filing a second grievance. I think he knows, Drew Rosnaus knows, they got no shot at winning this, but it keeps him in the news cycle. He is addicted to the attention, and he will be the star of episode three tonight. And I believe he will share that stage with a John Gruden who will probably throw some 
quote unquote off camera fit about where the hell is Antonio Brown? I don't see that happening no. because then Antonio sees that. And I don't see as much as you're a Gruden fan, I don't see him wanting to upset someone I just gave. No, I don't know if Gruden can help himself. I, I'm with you. But I, that's the thing. But what's so disappointing, <clears throat> James, is that we've given you this. You got out. You said you you didn't like the way the quarterback talked to you like you were less than a man. Mm-hmm. And you didn't like the head coach and upper management that allowed this to continue. Mm-hmm. So you got everything you wanted. You got more guaranteed money. You go went to a quarterback that's never going to talk to you sideways because he's less accomplished than you. <laughs> See, Ben felt he could talk to you sideways mm-hmm. because of those Super Bowls. Okay. See, Super Bowl give you, whether you're a coach, player, doesn't matter. It makes you feel like you're bigger than what you actually are. So you got away from that. You got $30 million guaranteed for two years. And you're talking about you not practicing because of a helmet. Mm. Listen, everything, like my mama used to say, that's done in the dark will come into the light. Yeah. Right now, I believe you're starting to see what may have been happening in the dark in Pittsburgh come into the light. Yes! Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, you know, like I said, the last year I wasn't there to act- exactly see it, but... Of course, he was given a lot of privileges in Pittsburgh. Yes. That, uh, you know, he was allowed to do because wow. some he, people allowed him to do that. Yes. Right now, you're in a different situation. Like they say, the grass is not always greener on mm-hmm. the other side. It they, is. Um, but when they watered and fertilized their grass over there, see, you letting the sun bake on yours, and you ain't putting no water, no fertilizer. That's why your grass wasn't green. Mm. Just remember, John Gruden sent Mike Mayock, his GM, but John's got the last call on all this. Everything. He sent Mike Mayock to tell the media ultimatum time. Are you all in or all out? So when you say you but don't want to push. Gruden doing it. Okay, but but again, trust me, he signed off on yeah, I know some he, guys he over there in, that. in Oakland. I, I it's think not uh, John Gruden doing it, so it's okay. really not John Gruden. I, I think, I think eventually, you know what? I think in order to get this point across, he's going to have to have a conversation with A.B. A.B. A- a- B- but see, th- th- the part that I hate most, James, is that you know what owners and general managers are saying? This is why we can't give guaranteed money. See how he acted? Mm-hmm. He done got the money. Well, now, you he, know, they also have something everyone. still in their back pocket that's called conduct detrimental. Yes. And you, you, that's a that's a thing that you go down that trail and it's it's it's, and it's why, mixed up. And I'm you, not trying to get nobody. I'm not really trying. You know, I wasn't being late. And I lose yeah. a lot of mm. money. I'm not trying to get no money back. Depending on how bad it is, it can almost void it. That's yeah. in the fine print. Mm. There. Oh yes. <laughs> and that's a me. Huh? You know what you said about how Super Bowls empower people to maybe think they're way more than they actually are? Yeah. I could throw John Gruden in. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he did absolutely. win a Super Bowl. Yes. And when they have their heart to heart, if he gets a little angry one way or the other, John is capable of saying, hey, do you realize I won a Super Bowl and you haven't? Yes. That, that's what it'll come down to. Because yes. John thinks he was the driving force. Yes. Of Tampa's. How the hell you think he got that, that contract? Yep. Ten years. Who, who get ten? Oh. Ten. Yeah. That's at wow. ten. Ten. When he, had, ten. when he hadn't coasted ten, ten years. Ten to ten ain't coasted. Sounds ten. good. Yep. <laughs> and he got total control of that franchise. Yes. So don't tell me Mike Mayock was on his own when he said, "Are you all in or all out?" I didn't say he yeah, was it, on his it, own, but I said he's the one that said it. So yeah. it may look like to everyone else he's on his own. He's the GM. Now, I can play good cop, bad cop over here now. Yeah, I know. And, and John's got some good cop in him, but trust me, way more bad cop yeah. in him. But it's going to come down, Skip. He gonna have to, mm-hmm. It's going to have to be bad cop, bad cop. Ain't mm-hmm. no more good cop. No. Nope. Because good cop, <laughs> good cop, good ain't cop don't me, work. Good cop ain't getting me no info. So <laughs> I'm just going to be bad cop, slam his head down on the table. And <laughs> get your butt out there. That's true. It's hard knocks. I'd like to see that on hard knocks. Yeah, not. I mean, yeah. geez. That is ridiculous. Mm, Dude, you got case. 30 million, and you talking about a helmet. You know, mm, I mean, but like he'll I, find I something everyone, new. Everyone has to go through that. If you're blessed to play the, in the game long enough, you're going to have to change your helmet. I believe it was like 09, 10 that I ended up having to change mine. Mm. I didn't like it, but I wasn't about to sit here and But if you fight. know, James, if they tell you in a year in advance, James, the helmet that you're wearing is no longer going to be allowed to be worn. Honestly, but, I didn't get a year in advance, but it's a helmet. But, it's literally a helmet. Okay. You can find a different face mask or But they gave something. him a year. But just imagine, if you, but you what you wouldn't have done, you wouldn't have waited until a training camp to try helmet. You'd have got one of the 30 models that they're allowing True. and see which one's going to fit you the best. Yep. He waited till the last, He knew this was coming. I know. They told you. Look, what I appreciated about you two when you played, you both had big personalities, big, big natures that would just fly out at any moment. But you were both we guys. Yeah. And, and 84 is a me guy. That's yeah. just... 
that's how it boils down. Yeah. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.